putting cats in a grid. We are in 2022 and grid layout in Streamlit is still an item in the Streamlit roadmap. We'll have to improvise with horizontal layout and columns. Let's first configure our grid with a number of columns. Inside the Streamlit sidebar, create a widget to input the number of columns to display. Then we need to download pictures of cats. Next, our plan here is to construct a matrix of image locations. First, we compute the number of rows necessary depending on our defined number of columns. Now, every time we call st.columns, a new row is generated. Let's create a list of rows, each row containing a list of columns. So it's like a list of list of columns, like a 2D matrix of sorts. And now we... Ow! And now we have two solutions. For each image, we could compute the row index and column index in the matrix and just put the image in the matrix. But honestly, this is prone to error because you, you've got to compute stuff like where's the row, where's the column, and, you, and what if you mess your calculation by one? The Zen of Python tells us flat is better than nesty. So let's flatten our list of list of columns into a list of columns. But do remember that each column in the flattened list corresponds to a particular location in the list of list of columns. So we still end up putting the image in the correct location in the matrix. And now we zip together our list of cats and our list of columns. Items. This is a good way to associate each image of cats with a column. The problem is now much easier to deal with. Go through the zipped list and do something with the column and the image, like display the image with the column. This is how you put cats in a grid, but you can reuse this technique for pretty much anything. Just replace your call image call with a column context manager and put your list of streamlit widgets inside. Now, this is not a true grid layout. All of your elements should be of the same height. That's because the grid does not try to maintain the same height for all the rows. So you can end up with some rows that are larger than other rows if the images are not of the same size. But you know, it's a good enough workaround for now and grid layout should be coming soon. Anyway, happy streamlining. And no, I'm not talking about the paper on generating grid states from shorting your cat state.